everybody, I'm Adriana and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm really excited about because it is going to be all about children's activities and the role of children's activities on the Disney College program. If you if this is your first time watching my channel, if you don't know me, I'm Adriana Santiago. I am a third year public relations major at the University of Florida and this is my first Disney College program. I was accepted for the role of children's activities for the spring 2019 term and now I'm living the dream. I'm at Disney World. I'm in my Chatham Square um, DCP housing dorm, I guess that's what you can call it. A lot of people have requested for me to make this video and I have had every intention of doing it, but I wanted to wait until I actually knew what I was talking about because I didn't want to give you guys wrong information. And a couple days ago, I ripped this little earning my ears thing off my name badge because I am done with training and I have been flying solo at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge for a couple days now. So that's been fun. <laughs> but yes, children's activities is a super fun role. And if you haven't applied yet, I highly suggest applying and signing up for that role because it's kind of like a hidden gem. I feel like a lot of people don't know much about it because there's not much about it on the internet and it deserves all the attention and love because it's amazing and it's great and I'm gonna tell you why. As a Children's Activities cast member, you are going to be working at one of the resorts and you are most likely going to be working poolside or inside at their community hall or activity center. If you are a Children's Activities cast member, you'll be working both of those things. So inside and outside, depending on what your schedule looks like and where they place you during the week. You're not gonna be just inside or just outside. Um, I know a lot of people differ a lot of people have their different preferences on where they prefer to work so far I don't really have a preference. I really like working outside some days I really like working inside some days It just kind of depends what I'm feeling the day of but I do enjoy both of them if you are working outside I think it's a really fun time because we do a lot of really fun things. We have what's called a party cart and My good old friend the party cart um, the party cart has our speakers on it and just a lot of fun stuff just so we're organized when conducting pool parties and activities and stuff and we just do a lot with the party cart so on the party cart we have our microphone and somebody has to be on the microphone at all times so if you are going to be doing children's activities or if you want to apply for children's activities keep in mind you're going to be doing a lot of public speaking um, it's not something to be nervous about, but if public speaking like makes you sick, then I probably wouldn't do this role because you are definitely going to be doing that and doing a lot of it. This role has a lot of guest interaction, which is wonderful, but this also means it's kind of a big responsibility because you are a huge point of contact for our guests. They are talking to you a lot. You will get to know the guests a lot because typically when guests stay, they stay for a long time. and. Yeah, so you're gonna be doing a lot of public speaking and it's a great thing, but like I said, if it makes you sick, if it's gonna get, make you really anxious or like just take care of yourself and let's just try to make the best impression for our guests. With the microphone, we do a couple of really cool things and I do have the recreation calendar from Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge with me just because I don't really have this memorized yet. I use this thing every single day. So yes, poolside, we do a lot of really fun stuff. So we typically start our day or at least the recreation calendar changes every month. So no matter whether you just started or you've been here for years, it's gonna change every month and you're gonna have to adjust your life to the new schedule and get used to it, which I kind of like because even though I'm the newest person, everybody's gonna kind of be all over the place trying to figure out what the new schedule is like. So it makes me feel a little bit less nervous of being, being like all over the place, not really knowing what's going on. So I'm not alone. But um, right now at one o'clock we have Disney trivia, which is really fun. We have a bunch of different kinds. Every single day it's a different theme. And then for example, yesterday was the Academy Awards and we had a Ca Disney Academy Awards trivia, which is pretty cool. And then at two o'clock we have bingo and it's not like normal boring bingo where you just call it like B4 or whatever and then people put the little tip down. No, it's like also Disney themed bingo. And so let's say it's princess bingo, um, where before would be, it would probably be Aurora. And then I have cards with like clues as to who it is. And I read them out to the crowd at the pool and then they shout out back to me who they think it is. I say, yes, it is Aurora. And then they will put their chip onto Aurora. So I think it's pretty fun. I personally really enjoy bingo, yeah. 
and then we also do cool crafts and activities by the pool so one thing that we do is mickey's tie-dye and mickey's tie-dye is really fun as a children's activities cast member it's our responsibility to band mickey's tie-dye when we're prepping and so we band it so that the little mickey head is up top and it just goes straight through and it's ready for when our guests are going to squirt all their dye on it mickey's tie-dye is super messy super messy but it is a lot of fun the first day i ever did mickey's tie dye was my very first day of training it was my very first day wearing my brand new white shoes and i got purple tie dye on it yeah it was a time but this is my mickey's tie dye during my training i don't know if it's like this at every single resort but during my training i was super fortunate that um my trainers got to let me like try a lot of the crafts that we do and i even got to try like a s'more and got to try ice cream during training and I really enjoyed that. I thought it was really cool. Um, I like eating and I like making things so it was fun. But this was my Mickey's tie-dye. I still haven't washed it yet but it's all banded up in plastic wrap because that's how we give it to our guests in a little bag like that. So yes we do Mickey's tie-dye which is super fun. We also do slime. I guess kids are really really into slime right now. I think it's like a huge like internet thing but we do slime we do glow in the dark slime sometimes it's a fun time it's also messy super sticky if you don't have the measurements correct and sometimes kids don't get too happy when it doesn't work out but we make it happen we make the magic happen um and it's a really fun time regardless um like I said, the schedule changes every month, and so some months we'll do like make your own ice cream too, which is also super fun. So we do a lot of cool poolside activities as well. And then poolside changes all the time. There's a lot of different things we do poolside, but we are on poolside a lot of the time. When we're done with poolside, then we switch over to campfire. Now at Kidani and Jumbo House, which are like the two sections of Animal Kingdom Lodge, campfire starts at 5 o'clock. And as a children's activities cast member, it's our job to handle campfire. So for campfire, there's always two children's activities cast members, and one of them is tending to the fire, and one of them is tending to our guests. Now the whole purpose of campfire is for s'mores. I don't know if every resort does s'mores. I don't, I don't know that. Um, I know a good couple of them do, and definitely Animal Kingdom Lodge, because we're awesome. <laughs> but yes, so at Campfire for Animal Kingdom Lodge, everybody gets one free s'more and unlimited marshmallows, which is super cool. And then our person tending to the guests, or a cast member tending to the guests, has a whole little spiel that they have to tell our guests, like... Um, if it's a child under 12, they need an adult, um, and all of this stuff has to be handed to the adult. We have to ask if they're allergic to anything. We have to make sure they're wearing shoes and things like that. Um, and the person tending to the fire, they teach us how to start a fire. They don't expect you to be Davy Crockett or something and, like, know how to just make fire if you're, like, no. They teach you how to do it. Um, I still struggle making the fire happen. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I literally look like I'm crying at campfire every single day and I hate that I look like I'm crying because I'm having a blast even though it's hard and because I love watching people like eat their first s'more and make it and they're like fascinated by it and it makes me happy but um I just look like I'm crying because like the smoke just follows me and I'm the worst at keeping the fire alive and the, the smoke just like dries out my eyes and then I'm just like look like I'm sobbing even though I'm like smiling and I'm so happy but crying at the same time it's a mess and expect to smell like campfire every single day like yeah my hair smells like campfire i've i've dealt with it i'm just gonna get over it it's my new brand now campfire if i ever had a perfume it would be that scent <laughs> but yes if you don't like the smell of campfire maybe maybe take that into consideration before applying to be in children's activities because you will smell like you are on fire all the time. When you are working inside then you're probably going to be working for your resort's community hall or activity center and we have a ton of stuff to do in community hall. You do a ton of really cool stuff so like we do ceramics, we have free crafts like scratch art and all of the coloring pages kids hearts could ever desire. We have paid crafts like the ceramics, um, we do like these cute little tie pillows which are super cool um just african jewelry which is specific to disney's animal kingdom lodge i love that i made one little bracelet that i'm going to show you guys i'm very proud of this bracelet i like it a lot but i think it's the cutest i think it's cute 
and I made that um during training and that is one of our paid activities we have a ton of stuff we show movies all day long um if a guest is like hanging out in there we will ask them what their favorite Disney movie is and put it on and they're like just so like happy every single time we put on their favorite Disney movie because then it's almost like special like they're playing my favorite Disney movie and then they're just watching it um we have video games we have everything like board games you can check out board games you can check out sports equipment and we just do that all day long we check out crafts um if things are slow and there's a kid in their color we can go color with the kid if a kid is playing a wii game and nobody's in there we can play with the kid if there's literally nobody in there we can prep things like we can prep tie-dye we can prep campfire we can prep the little tie pillows while watching one of the movies so it's really cool like it's there's constantly something to do and there's just a lot of fun at crafts and things so if you're super crafty you're gonna love this role um if you love helping kids create things you're gonna love this role if you love helping adults create things you're gonna love this role if anything else comes up to mind i will me mention it but that's pretty much like the overall gist of what we do as children's activities now what i love about children's activities so so much is that not only are you like having fun with guests you are literally the life of the party like if resorts had an entertainment section i think that would be the children's activities people we host the pool parties we've got the microphones on we play the music and it's just a fun time like genuinely fun you are entertaining guests you are engaging with them in activities and like it just doesn't get better than that during training one of my trainers was introducing me to one of the lifeguard guards and she was like yeah she's our only cp and he's like whoa you lucked out and i was like yeah no kidding because i literally get paid to play and I mean there is a responsibility aspect to it because I haven't been through it yet but I have a pro rescue class that I have to take on Friday where I'm going to be spending eight hours at Mickey's retreat doing um like rescue training so like CPR and all that stuff in the case of an emergency and so there is a certain like responsibility aspect you have like the safety and then we have a ton of checklists that we have to make sure are filled out and filled out correctly and those are kind of intimidating at first but then I realized that they're there to help me um, and during training I felt really good like I asked a lot of questions during training I thought I was like set I was good to go for when I started working by myself and then I had my first day solo yesterday and I literally felt like a chicken with my head cut off like I had no idea what I was doing and I was like I knew everything I had to do yesterday and now I'm like it's all gone but I made it through the day and it was a good day like it was a fun day and I think truly I needed to do it by myself just so I could like connect the dots on my own um and the checklist really helped you help with that because like they remind you to make sure you have your first aid kit and you have your radio and your keys and things like that so it's pretty cool so yes there's a safety component there is like a responsibility component and like making sure you have your checklist done and making sure you are prepping the correct things and making sure that everything is flowing smoothly and you are have good show and everything it looks organized and cleanly and that you're being friendly because cleanliness and friendliness are super important to disney and the resorts obviously that's what makes a great impression to guests but yes there is responsibility but it's a lot of fun you're literally getting paid to play like i would say 60 percent of the time you are playing 40 percent of the time you are being responsible and making things making sure things are good and ready for the next time you're playing and it's just great because I get paid to play with kids and just have a fun time that's all I gotta say about that I don't have to deal with the craziness of the parks and children's activities you work at a resort you park at your resort you walk straight into your resort you clock in at your resort you don't have to deal with massive crowds you don't have to deal with massive parking lots you don't have to deal with taking buses or west clock and all of the craziness or walking through magic kingdom and stuff like that like i literally walk into my resort i go get my keys i go get the stuff i need and then i go on with my day and it's just very simple to do your job whereas when you're working in the parks it is a little bit more complicated to do your job if you worked in the parks before you know what i mean um and if you haven't worked in the parks before, just take my word for it. It's a lot less complicated to just go about like your normal routine. Another great thing about being intelligence activities on your Disney college program is the hours. So I know the Disney college program has this like super nasty rep about hours and how much they're going to work you. Like there are some people who believe that 
like oh they're just gonna work you to death then you'll be having you'll be working like over 40 hours a week or you'll be waking up at like two o'clock in the morning to go to work and for some rules that's very possible like that's just very likely um because it's necessary for some rules like if you're in quick service people need breakfast so it makes sense you know um if you are in merchandise the parks open really early so it makes sense um like that is necessary for your role for you to be that er that early Thankfully, for children's activities, that's not really the case. Like, the earliest I'm gonna go in is if I'm working inside. So if I'm working community hall or Simba's, that's the earliest time I'm gonna come in. And I think that's like at around 8.30. Um, and that's if I have the opener shift. Like, that's the earliest I will ever, ever, ever go into work, I'm pretty sure. And if I'm working poolside, I'm probably gonna come in at 12.30 or later. So to me, that's really great because I really like my sleep and not even just that I really like my sleep I really like having slow mornings I like to be able to get things done in the morning I like not feeling rushed in the morning and so I literally have the whole morning to get whatever I need to do done and then I go to work and then I get out now the thing is I do get out a little bit later um, I get out around if I'm working opener for community hall I get out around five sometimes I'll get around at like nine sometimes I get around get out at around 11 or 11 45 so I do get out a little bit later but even then it's not that late because if you're working in the parks the parks sometimes close really really late during the summer Magic Kingdom can stay open as late as 12 o'clock and you might not get home until one o'clock but that won't really be the case for me because even for Dackle like you just hop right into Osceola Parkway make left on the I-4 make a run to violin and I'm at DC housing. <laughs> so it's really convenient and really great. Like I could not be more thankful, truly. So yeah, you're never gonna be working super ridiculously early and you're not gonna be working super ridiculously late. So I love that. And I think that's a super big plus of being in children's activities on your college program. Another really great thing about children's activities is your costume. I love, like I love the children's activities costume. My only complaint about the children's activities costume is the white sneakers because I don't think they were a smart idea. I don't know whose idea it was to have people playing with children wear white sneakers. We play with paint. Why would we wear white sneakers? I don't know. But I love our costume and I will put in like a picture of our costume or something right here so you can see what it is. It's a polo. Um, it's a polo, like a yellow polo, bright yellow, like you can't miss it. It's so kids see you and they're like, oh, I could talk to that person. And we wear a bathing suit underneath, which I kind of like for multiple reasons. So sometimes we do get wet. Sometimes when we're having pool parties, like the games like splash on us and it's like it's totally fine. Like um, during my training, two of my trainers went down the water slide with a bunch of kids. How cool is that? Um, so it makes sense for, for us to have the bathing suit on. Now, another reason I really like the bathing suit is because you are working poolside in the Florida sun. Yeah, there's an umbrella there, but if you are on the microphone, you are supposed to be in front of the party cart. You're not supposed to have this blocking you because it kind of creates a disconnect between you and the guests. So if you're in front of that party cart, you better believe that the sun is shining onto you. And if I'm sweating, like, all heck, that bathing suit soaks it all up and... It's gross, but it's helpful. Over the bathing suit, we wear that polo that I was talking about. And then if we're working poolside, we have um, these shorts that are like these super thin material. Um, they're just dry really fast and I think they're really great. I really like them, they're comfortable. And then if we are wearing, <clears throat> if we are working inside or campfire, we have to wear khaki shorts. And those I don't care for as much because they get dirty really easily, especially around campfire and like all these melted marshmallows. But that's what Disney costuming is for. You just go take them back and get new khaki shorts. It's no big deal. Another part of our costume is our hip pack. So I'm pretty sure that this is like a children's activity standard. And this is my hip pack right here. So I have my little hip pack and it's called hip pack, but I put it like it's faced by my butt. So like behind me and it has a couple of zippers in it. I have, um, like a couple of like safety necessary things in here um i i keep band-aids in here personally just like for myself or for i guess if they need it i have a flashlight for when i'm cleaning out the campfire because that is a part of our job and we will be scooping ash and wood out of the campfire i keep um things not allowed in the water i keep 
10 codes for when we use the radio so I can be using proper radio etiquette, which I'm not too good at just yet. Um, I keep a little notebook in the giraffe print because I get to see giraffe friends at work. I have this little tomato with my gloves in it, some towels for literally any miscellaneous use that I may need, and then my water bottle because people do pass out poolside sometimes, so I need to stay hydrated. Um, yeah, so that's part of my costume as well. I have to have that, like that is a necessary part of my costume. I'm also realizing when I was talking about ceramics, I never actually showed you. Part of my training, I got to make a ceramic, so I made this little ceramic tile, and I put my water bottle on it. We actually, for ceramics too, we do learn how to use the kiln. I don't know if you guys, when you were in elementary school, ever got to make ceramics in like art class and like you like you used like the paint and your art teacher put it in the kiln and it came out all glossy, but we have one of those and now I know how to use it. So I feel like my life has come full circle, truly. Another thing that I really like about being in children's activities is you are able to be cross-trained at different resorts. So like you can be trained at Animal Kingdom Lodge and that can be like your home resort, which is like mine. Or like I've heard from people that you can be cross-trained and you can also be trained at like Art of Animation and then work at both. Now, I thought that was something I would want to do at some point. I thought that was something I'd want to do, but I like have developed this kind of like dackle like love where I just like want to work at my resort and probably just because I was truly really really blessed with an amazing resort and I could talk to you about why I love Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge so much. Like I work at a resort and a zoo at the same time. I walk into work and I see giraffes and zebras every day. Yesterday I saw a zebra rolling around in the sand and it was the best cutest little moment ever i was literally coming into work and there was a whole crowd of people crowding a window and we were I, like i i literally went over and i was like you guys have me so curious like i have to see what you're looking at and it's a zebra rolling around in the dirt like a little puppy like it was the cutest thing ever and there's just so many cool things and i think our resort's just so unique because we have the african cultural representatives and they are so knowledgeable and so cool and just so full of like life and experience and there's just a lot of really cool things about my resort that I just love and I'm just so blessed to be here. Like I'm the first CP they've had in over a year and I don't know how that happened. I don't know why that happened. It's all God and I could not be more thankful, truly. So I have developed this kind of like love for Dackle and I think that when you are in children's activities, you're going to develop the same sort of like a passion for your resort and you're going to want to know as much as you can about it and just try all the resorts and know everything about it so that when a guest asks you, you can truly tell them from firsthand experience. And I think that guests can tell when you're super passionate about your resort because when you explain things to them, it really translates that. And I think that's really cool. And I think that kind of like love you'll develop for your resort is one of the cooler parts about being in children's activities. Another thing I forgot to mention was movie. So a thing that a lot of the resorts do is movie under the stars. And so part of your job as children's activities cast member is to set up and tear down movie. Now what's really cool about movie under the stars is that it's literally this huge inflatable screen that you set up and you set up chairs in front of and people watch a movie with popcorn outside at night. I don't know what makes it so much more magical to watch a movie outside than inside, but I agree that it is more magical and I am more inclined to watch a movie that they have to be offered if it's outside. Don't know why that's so much cooler, but I think it is. And that's part of our job. I have set up movie once and I've torn down movie once during training. It took a really long time during training because all the cords were mixed up because we hadn't used it in a while. Because of the winter, we kind of just keep it inside. But we are about to go back to Movie Under the Stars, I think. And so I'll give you more experience about that once I get some more. Okay, so I think I've talked about everything I wanted to talk about, about what children's activities consist of, what you'll be doing, and what I think makes it a little bit... Um, more special in my opinion compared to some of the other rules by no means am i saying any of the other rules are inferior by any means i just feel super special and blessed and thankful that my role has these qualities that maybe some roles don't
thank you guys so much for watching i really hope that i gave you all the information that you need or you could ever want and um i wish you all of the luck sending you all of the prayers all of the pigs you does if you're applying for the dcp if you've already applied and you've gotten into your children's activities then welcome to the family i'm so excited i hope i get to meet you um and yes just feel free to watch more of my videos go ahead and subscribe like the video i hate saying that i sound so like typical youtuber <laughs> but yes thank you so much for watching love you guys and i will see you next time